here let us learn what is side 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 congruence criteria the two triangles are congruent if the three sides of one triangle are equal to the corresponding three sides of the other triangle that is exactly what side 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 congruence criterion means Now what is given is that two triangles ABC and DEF are such that AB equals DE and BC equals EF and AC equals DF. Now what we have to prove here is, let us see how do we prove this. We've got a construction to make. Now what is this construction? Now suppose BC is the longest side. Draw eg such that angle f e g is going to be equal to angle a b c and e g equals a b now join g f and join g d here it is so this is the construction now let us get to the proof the proof is here. So the proof is in the triangles ABC and GEF we have BC equals to EF which is given. And then we have AB equals GE. So that comes by construction. And also we have angle ABC equals angle FEG. Again, that is by construction. That's what we wanted. And so now by SAS criterion, that is side, side, angle, side criterion of congruence, we have triangle ABC being congruent to triangle GEF. So here it is. Triangle ABC being congruent to triangle GEF. And we also have angle A equal to angle G, AC equals GF. That is, the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. We have angle A equals angle G and AC equals GF. Alright. Now, AB equals DE and AB equals GE. So, therefore, we can say that DE equals to GE. Similarly, AC equals DF and AC equals GF. Therefore, DF equals GF. Quite simple, right? So, therefore, in triangle EGD, we have in triangle EGD, we have DE equals GE and we have angle EDG equals angle EGD. So now in triangle FGD, that is the other half, we have DF equals GF and then we have angle FBG equals angle FGD. So now considering this and this, let us add them both. We have angle EDG plus angle FDG equal to angle EGD plus angle FGD. So now we have this will be angle D, this will be angle G. So based on this, we can say that angle D equal to angle G. But we have angle G equals angle A. Therefore, we can say that angle A equals angle D. Thus, in triangles ABC and DEF, we have AB equals DE, angle A equals angle D, AC equals DF. So, therefore, 
the interesting thing here is to prove that the two triangles can be congruent because their three sides are equal we are employing or we are using the SAS congruence criterion that's exactly what has happened here one side one angle and one side the SAS criterion has been used to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF hence what we've done by this is we proved that two triangles can be congruent because of the side 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 congruence criterion